Hello, Yarnabees. How are you today? Happy Canada Day for all my Canadian friends and YouTubers. Uh, yeah, <laughs> today is Canada's birthday. And not only is it Canada's birthday, it is no restrictions, no mask day. Ah! I am so excited. They lifted our restrictions today and I haven't been out yet. So I don't know what kind of chaos is going on out there. Uh, hey, in the States, leave a comment down below and tell me what happened when they lifted your restrictions. Was there any fighting? Was there any you know, belligerence. Um, that's one thing that we are really worried about here is um, having, you know, going out with no mask and some people are wearing masks. They're leaving it up to the inv individual, which is kind of scary because I think there's going to be a lot of animosity and a lot of fighting. And uh, I'm almost afraid to go out. Like, seriously, I have to go dashing today and uh, I'm almost afraid. I'm going to take my mask with me and, you know, see what happens. But it's like we can breathe again. Oh, it's been a long time coming. And um, yeah, wow. I don't know quite what's happening in Ontario. I know Ontario is the worst of Canada. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. We're, we're going to see what happens, but yeah, we're going to venture out today. Yay. <laughs> Having talked about, uh, door dashing, I made top dasher. Yay. Which means that I can dash whenever I want. I don't have to schedule. Oh, that takes so much pressure off because now I can just when I've got some time, I hit the dash button and I'm good to go. I can log off and it won't lose my schedule. I can just, I can, you know, um, take breaks when I want to. I can stop um, dashing so I can make a video. Uh, you know, like, oh, the pressure is off. But I do have to keep up appearances. I do still have to get my 100 deliveries in a month to keep my top dasher. Uh, so <clears throat> I barely made it. Like I went, I was at like 101 uh, as of last night. So yeah, but that's only because of the scheduling issues um, and because uh, of my, you know, I'll dash one day and then I'll be hurting bad for the next day and I'd have to take that day off so now I can dash whenever I want and I'm not restricted to a schedule so it'll be easier on my body and my mind hello yes okay um hey it's Christmas in July I'm so glad I got walloped with a whole bunch of comments and I'm so happy that you guys liked my fairy video. No fairies were harmed in this video. Well, maybe a little, but <laughs> I had so much fun doing it. And uh, I'm hoping that the people that did subscribe to me stick around. Uh, I, I'm so happy that you're here. Thank you so much for taking the time to subscribe and like my video and to leave a comment. Um, there were so many comments um, that were just so sweet. And I and a lot of comments too saying, hey, this time last year is how I found you from the Christmas in July fairies. And I was like, yes, thank you. <laughs> so thank you so much to Dana Wonderless Crochet for bringing this wonderful uh, thing to our community. Well, actually, it's not just our community, guys. It's a lot of other communities, too, um, that are getting involved in this. So make sure that you go to Dana's video, uh, and I'll leave that link down below again, and go check out her list, uh, her playlist for the fairies this year. 
Okay, more. Let's, what else? Uh, I got my list here. Um, I'm going to be talking a lot, well, a little bit about Jennifer from Cinnamon Stitches right now. Just saying. Love you, Jennifer. <laughs> uh, okay, so Jennifer just did a video that made me laugh quite a bit. Um, she did, she was talking about, um, F O M F O M O fear of missing out. And she was saying that, um, she watched my video and, <clears throat> or not my video, my, she went to my Facebook page because I had put the 10 steps to yarnaholics <laughs> And I didn't write it, but I posted it. And she was saying how she she loved it and that uh, she definitely has the fear of missing out. And I, I'm right there with you, sister. I'm telling you, I, if you could see my chaos around me right now, yeah. Uh, if you don't know what FOMO is, fear of missing out, it means that <clears throat> you're afraid of missing out on yarn sales. Uh, if you're watching yarn hauls and you're going, oh, I have to go and check that out. And then you go to the website and you, you're buying, right? That's the fear of missing out. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. You're missing out. You're, you're worried of missing out on a sale, on a good deal, on new yarn. Um, I... I, I live by that motto. <laughs> I just, I am so afraid of m missing a good sale, you know, or being left behind, so to speak. Um, it's a real thing. It really is. If you're new to yarn and the yarny community, it is a thing. Uh, I never thought it was, but it is. And uh, I have to reel myself in sometimes and go, okay, I really don't need it. I don't, but I want it. It's like I, I fight with it every day. And it, it, it does become like an addiction. Um, yarn for me is a total addiction. I have an addictive personality, I think. And I've noticed that with myself over the last few years is that I swap one addiction for another. Like not, I'm not talking drugs and alcohol kind of addiction. I'm talking about all or nothing. I'm all in. Uh, when it came to my crafting, it's like I needed all the things, right? So downstairs in our house is a, oh, oh I don't even go down there. It's all this craft stuff that I'm in the process of trying to weed out, sell, get rid of, um, because I'm, I'm not doing it anymore. Right. I am all about the yarn right now. Right. So I, I, I've got so much yarn around me and I keep bringing in more, right? Like I'm after this video, I'm going to be doing a video on some yarn that I got. In. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> It's never ending. <laughs> so, yes. Uh, so, Jennifer gets it. Totally gets it. <laughs> yes, sisters unite. <laughs> oh, man. It's, yeah, we, we need an, an FOMO support group. We really do. Uh, we need a safe place for us to go and just... <laughs> deal deal with it <laughs> so anyway okay um speaking of jennifer this is jennifer's new summer top yes it is uh mine is a little on the heavy side um yeah i did it with the eco cotton uh and latte cake what is it with me groping her boob all the time? Good Lord. I'm going to get like tagged for sexual whatever on my channel. <laughs> um, 
I am going to show pictures of this on. Whoa. Okay. What are you drunk today? Like, holy crap. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's a bit heavy. This is definitely not a summer top. I don't think maybe depends on where you are. If you have cool days, then this would be perfect. Uh, I, I like this top only because it's got la two of my favorite yarns and it's so soft. It's so soft. Um, yeah. So this latte, you can't get anymore. Uh, I bought a whole bunch of latte cakes. If you saw vi the video I did before, I bought a whole bunch of latte cakes from a lady, um, back East in, uh, in, where the heck was she? I can't remember now, but she was in Canada and she sent me, um, all this, all these latte cakes. <clears throat> so this was one of them. And yeah, I may have to make another one, but I might use a different cotton because this eco cotton, believe it or not, is quite heavy. Okay. Another thing about Jennifer, Miss Jennifer <sighs> is last year. I did a, um, uh, bleh, what did I do? <laughs> At Christmas time, we did the Lismas, uh, gift giving thing. I did it with three different people. Jennifer happened to be my surprise, uh, recipient. And I ordered something for her Blissmas box and it never showed up. I was so mad and I contacted the seller, uh, for on Etsy and I complained and I said, you know what? I said, it's been almost a month now. Where is it? She said, we sent it because of COVID. We don't know what is going on, blah, blah, blah. Never showed up. I contacted her a couple months later, said it still hasn't showed up. Are you going to give me a refund or replacement or something? Never heard from her. I was not impressed. So I let it go. Well, day before, yesterday, yesterday, I get a package in the mail with a note from Canada Post saying, oh my goodness, we're so sorry. We found this at our office. Here. <laughs> so, I went, are you kidding me? It was almost a year to the day. I ordered it on July 6th. It's now July 1st, a year later. Wow. So I'll show you. <laughs> Good grief. Um, it's a couple of stitch markers. And if you guys know Jennifer, Jennifer loves anything Disney. Okay. Um, guess what, Jennifer? They're here. <laughs> so, so I am going to send this off in the mail. I'm going to make the package a bit bigger. Uh, so forgive me if I happen to put a few balls of yarn or something in there because, you know, I don't want the package to get lost again because the package was only like this big, like, and it got lost. So I am going to, um, make it a little bit bigger and hopefully it will get to you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So surprise. <laughs> so here's a question. Have you guys watched anything good lately? Whether it's on Netflix, Crave, Amazon Prime, movie channel, whatever. Leave a comment down below and tell me what you guys have been watching. Have you been binge watching anything? I, um, 
felt really bad when I was saying that Heather the Crochet, Heather the Crochet Witch, uh, I'll put her link down below. She's doing a cowl, a crochet along for Stranger Things. Um, and not for Stranger Things, it's Stranger Things inspired. And I said that I wasn't getting involved because I haven't been updated on what's going on on Stranger Things and, and whatnot. Well, I decided to go back and check out what I've missed. Turns out, uh, I was already halfway through the third season and didn't even realize it. So I went, okay, I'm going to binge watch Stranger Things. And so I finished watching the third season. They're still waiting for the fourth season to come out because of the whole COVID thing last year. They're thinking that it might come out in July 22 maybe. So again, I've, I've now finished the, this part of the series and it's going to take forever for the fourth season to come out. I will have forgotten everything that I watched. I hate this. They have done this for a lot of shows. Ah. Oh. You know, and then after a while, you kind of lose interest. You've totally forgotten that you watched this show or a different show or whatever. And like, same with Handmaid's Tale. You know, like I watched up to a point. Then I was waiting for another season to come out. Totally forgot that I even watched it. Now I'm totally, I've just given up on it. Um, you know, a lot of shows like that are going on. It, and it's just, same with Cobra Kai love Karate Kid. I grew up on Karate Kid. I was so excited that um, Netflix took over Karate Kid and I binge watched the season that they came out with and then I waited and waited for the next season. Lost interest. Uh, yeah. So we ended up Oh, no, it wasn't Netflix. It was, uh, hmm, I can't remember what, what the station was that did it. But anyways, we ended up getting rid of the channel um, because I just, I got tired of waiting. I was impatient. It was, that was the only show that we watched on that, on that station. So we just let that go. So, yeah. But anyways, I thought I'd tell you a couple of things that I've been watching. Maybe you'll be interested in them. Uh, okay, so binge watch Stranger Things. Then I watched Sweet Tooth, which was a surprisingly good show. Um, it was kind of like a fantasy uh, type of thing. It, it kind of, it's weird. I've been watching a lot of shows that have to do with um, viruses and stuff like that could be in light of what has happened, but, uh, there's been a huge amount of shows that have come out with that kind of thing in mind. This is one of them. Virus hits, babies start coming out looking like animals and all this other kind of stuff. It's really an interesting show. Great concept scary kind of um but you know it's uh it's worth watching so it's called sweet tooth binge watched manifest i've been looking at that show for a little while uh and thinking hmm, should i uh, should i i don't know i am so glad i did uh again waiting for the next season to come out mm -hmm. Um, but wow, I was, I was, um, pleasantly surprised at how interested I was in that show. Uh, so hopefully they hurry up and get the next season out. Um, so manifest. Okay. This one is 
very different. It's called miso hungry. Miso is in the soup. M-I-S-O. Hungry. Um, <laughs> I was thinking, oh, okay, this is going to be a show where this is, oh, hang on. George is calling me. Oh, we'll just, he'll, I'll call him back. Um, this is a, a show about a guy who, a, a very overweight guy, he's a comedian, I think, goes to Japan, eats the way that they eat, and loses weight. I was like, oh, I love Japanese food. Let's see this. Well, holy cow. There are some, some scenes in there. I laughed so hard. Um, I, I was watching it at like one o'clock in the morning. I laughed. I had to literally stifle my face because George was asleep. Dog was asleep. Cat was asleep. And I am belly laughing, tears rolling down my face. Uh, I was just like, oh my God. <laughs> uh, he, he was great in this and it, it takes a little getting into it, but towards the end of the show, I, when he starts really losing the weight and stuff, oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> him and the monk. Oh, he goes to, a, oh, a monastery. Oh, meets this monk. Oh, good Lord. You got to go watch it. It's hilarious. <laughs> so, yeah, me so hungry. <laughs> okay, so I haven't done an update on the traveling hook yet. Yeah. Okay. Um, Karen, the yarn... Uh, Yarn Addict with Karen had the hook or has the hook put up her video already link down below uh, uh no sorry not yes link is the link down below I think the link is down below if not go into my playlist and look for Sisterhood of the Traveling Hook all the videos of everybody that has had had the traveling hook in their hot little hands their video is there if you don't know what I'm talking about Go check out that playlist and watch my first video. I basically sent a, around a travel, uh, uh, furls crochet hook all through Canada. It's going through the U S I sent another one to Australia. That one's already back to me. Um, so Karen has it right now. She's ready to send it off. And uh, the next person that is getting it, and I'm so excited, is Tracy from I Love Loopies Crochet and Treasures. Um, she's going to be getting the hook next. I've emailed her. I've let her know that it's going to be on its way soon. And uh, I can't wait to see what she makes with it because she makes some amazing stuff. So, oh, I can't wait. I cannot wait. Uh, so yeah, so keep an eye on if you binge watch them, man, like binge watch them and, and check it out. It's so much fun. I have had some people ask me, uh, if they can get involved. I've, I'm not taking any more for this year. Um, cause I've already got my map done and everything else. So I'm probably going to do it again next year but I will let you guys know, uh, what happens when I get the hook back. Well, that's it guys. I think I'm done. So <laughs> I got to go and film my other video and, uh, and then I got to start dashing. Yay. It's so much cooler. Thank the gods. Um, I, I, oh man, I had an absolute meltdown and I, I literally had a meltdown when the heat hit we had three days of brutal absolute brutal heat we are not used to that kind of heat and it hit me hard hard um and of course stupid me you don't you don't cook 
when it's that hot? Like you just order out, right? Well, because we've been dashing so much, uh, we're not home. So we just order out or we go and pick something up and bring it home. I wanted a home cooked meal. George wanted a home cooked meal. I thought I would surprise him. Bad idea. Uh, I went and I was cooking. I was sweating like crazy. Our house was all locked up with the AC going on in the living room. It does not make it through the rest of the house. The kitchen was blazing hot. I ended up having to turn off the AC and open up the windows, which brought in all the heat, but I needed to get something. There was absolutely no wind for three days. Nothing, nada. It was insane. Uh, we ended up getting up to 100 degrees and it was stupid of me. What happened was I, I cooked the meal. Um, I was lethargic. I was dizzy. I wasn't feeling well. I was obviously dehydrated. Um, I was drinking, but not near enough. I did not drink anything that had sodium in it, which I should have had pickle juice or something to get the sodium back into my system. And I didn't. And so as soon as I sat down to eat, I just, I sat in a lump in my chair and bawled my eyes out. I was like, <laughs> just uncontrollable bawling. I was so exhausted and so hot. You know, like when a, a, a little kid or a baby gets overheated and they're crying and they're miserable. That was me. Um, George stopped eating right away, jumped up, grabbed me, grabbed an ice cube and a cold pack. And um, we have a frozen towel in the freezer so that when we're dashing, we can have the towel on our neck and stuff. Grabbed that. He came into the, <laughs> into the living room and he's running the ice cube all over my face, all over my chest and um trying to cool me down he got me something to drink he actually went to 7-eleven and got me um like a big big drink and uh and i it was like i couldn't believe it i i just lost my mind um i was almost delirious that's how bad it was and i thought i'm not going to make it through this and so he got me cooled down and I finally got to eat my dinner. Then I went into a cold bath. I hate cold, hate it, hate it. But I, I submerged myself in a cold bath and I'll tell you that saved my butt. Uh, yesterday was a little bit cooler. We were able to actually open our windows. Today, it is beautiful. It was overcast, windy, a little bit windy. The temperature dropped dramatically. I can breathe. It was, it's so much better now. Um, but yeah, it was, it was scary. Uh, I don't know how everybody else got through it, but I hope every, everybody's okay. I've heard that there have been some deaths. Um, it's, it, it's unbelievable. I do not understand how people in hot countries can deal with this heat. It was only three days for us and I thought I was going to die. Like I, it was insane. Um, so yeah, I'm hope and it's only July 1st, like, holy man, we still have July and August and September to go through. So, oh man, I don't want that to go on again, but I'm okay. Everything's good now. Wow. I couldn't crochet. I wanted nothing on me. I, it was awful. It was awful. But anyway, anyways, guys, uh, that's it. Thanks for joining me. Um, uh, yeah, come and check out, check out my next video and don't forget to go back to my fairy video. I think I'll link it up here, uh, and put your comment in so that you can be in the mix for the semi-finalists on 
the 15th of July. Yay. <laughs> okay. I love you all. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.